This is Tom Bernanke and today I'm talking about the seven best foods for your gout attack and the seven foods to avoid for your gout attacks. Home remedies, best medications, everything. I see this thousands of times. I know the mistakes people make and the secrets people aren't taking advantage of. And we're starting now. Gout is a brutal disease. This is one where you're doing good the night before and you wake up the next day and you're like, oh my, this is the worst pain I've ever had in my life. I have to cancel work, cancel all my plans. I cannot do anything. That's gout. It's basically from taking in too much DNA products. So DNA is found in cells. It goes into your body. It gets turned to a metabolism product or garbage product called uric acid that your kidneys should excrete. But either you're getting too much of it and you're not excreting enough of it and it gets built up in the middle, which is me, the body. And it usually goes to the coldest areas like our fingers, our toes, our big toe joints, our ankles, our feet. I like to think of gout like a cold glass of water and you pour too much sugar in it and rather than dissolving in the body, it sinks to the bottom. And those ice crystals slice up your joints, ruin your cartilage, erode your bone. This is the king's disease. It's from eating too much of the good stuff and getting too cozy in life. So we gotta stop this. This is a major problem across the world. It's getting worse every single year. And I've got people coming to our offices all the time. So we've gotta stop this problem. Gout is usually diagnosed based on the symptoms and medical history. So when somebody comes in, 99% of the time that people are told something's gout, it's not really gout. The real trick with gout is when you drink some beer before, when you fit the demographics. So, I mean, you're a little bit bigger, you're a little bit older, you've maybe had a gout attack before. Wake up and it's like 10 out of 10 pain. I mean, your joints are swollen, they're painful. Most of the time it's not gout when I see that. I would take an x-ray, some imaging, but you won't be able to do that at home. Always consider these top five causes of big toe joint pain. A bunion, this could be on the fifth toe or the big toe joint. This is stretching and pain of the ligaments. Hallux rigidus is arthritis. There's four stages. There could be bumps, there could be swelling. It makes gout more likely. Turf toe is the stretching or straining of the ligament. That could happen. Gout is uric acid crystals built up in the joint. And sesamoiditis are the bones underneath your big toe joint. We've got guides for all of these, so check them out below. A big tip is that it's usually just one side, not both sides. Gout is a breakdown product of DNA. That means any food or meat you eat, this could create uric acid and it deposits in joints if you eat too much and your kidneys can't get rid of it. It usually builds up in the big toe joints, it can build up in the fingers, in the hands, and this is usually because you're getting larger or your kidneys can't excrete it enough, but it can happen in your spine, your ankle, your big toe joint, your knees, pretty much any joint in the body that has fluid. There are some great tests to make sure what you have is gout before you start treating. The best foods for gout are cherries. Cherries are a great option. They're very well studied. They are rich in a compound called anthocyanins. This is an anti-inflammatory product which can help reduce the risk of gout attacks. The Journal of Nutrition found that consuming cherries or cherry extract reduced the risk of gout in people that drank it pretty much every day. Low fat dairy. I go over this in other videos, but realistically you should probably cut out your dairy in general except for eggs, but milk, it's not very beneficial to you. I go over that in other videos, but skim milk, low fat yogurt, these are things can help, or at the very least switching to stronger fat milks can help. You wanna eat healthier food with less sugar overall. So a study published in the Journal of American Medical Association found that switching at the very least to healthier or lower amounts of dairy products may reduce the risk of gout. The next great food is vegetables. Vegetables like spinach, kale, broccoli are rich in nutrients, vitamin C and K, and these have been shown to reduce the risk of a gout. Vitamin C specifically is a vitamin shown to help your lower uric acid levels, and while vitamin K specifically can help prevent the formation of uric acid crystals in joints, and this is shown in the Journal of Arthritis Research and Therapy. You wanna increase your amount of vegetables. I'm not talking about potatoes, but generally green and brightly colored vegetables. Now, people always attack the amount of oxalates inside vegetables, 
If you're prone to kidney stones, that's a great option. But the idea is cut your overall food down as well and make a larger percentage of it vegetables. Switch from simple grains. If you're eating simple cereals, if you're eating high glycemic foods, switch to ones that are harder to digest like brown rice, quinoa, oatmeal, switch away from those white pastas, white rice, and switch to the darker, thicker stuff. These are more rich in fiber, and fiber has been shown to lower uric acid levels and reduce gout attacks. A study published in the Annals of Rheumatic Diseases found that a diet richer in whole grains, stronger in fiber, and you know what you can do? You can even cut out the sugary, high glycemic foods and switch to a fiber powder. This is really important to understand, the glycemic index, because this is what ties up your kidneys and your blood flow. Low glycemic index foods don't overwhelm it like high glycemic foods. And what happens is once you eat those sugars, that food, your kidneys are overwhelmed and that uric acid in the bottom left corner here deposits in your joints. It's that simple. I like to use fruit as an example. Low glycemic index fruits probably won't spike a gout attack, even though technically they have sugar. But ones on the right, like eating a lot of watermelon, can overload your body with sugar. Now let's look at what good foods are for gout in general. You have low glycemic index foods, so like hummus, chickpeas, garlic, vegetables, eggplant, these won't overload your body very well. But as you get up into the 10 to 30 range, these foods also pretty good for you. As you get up higher, now these are more high glycemic index foods, which could start causing some issues. And as you kind of get up into that red zone where you have your processed foods, your snacks, all that kind of stuff, that's where you start having some problems. And right here, you can see the white bread, the donuts, the baguettes, the white rice, your blood and your kidneys are overloaded. Now you notice the meats, even though they contain DNA and purines, they're not the biggest culprits, even though that's where gout comes from. So even though meats and seafood do contain DNA and purines, they don't overload your body quite as much unless you're drinking alcohol and if you're not getting enough water. So hydrate and keep it moderate and don't overwhelm your body. I love fiber powder. It'll help you go to the bathroom easier. It'll cut down your uric acid. So check out fiber supplements as well. It's a great option. Berries. So berries like strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, they're rich in vitamin C and polyphenols. These are shown to have anti-inflammatory properties and can reduce the risk of gout attacks. We've already talked about cherries juice as a great option, but the berries as well. This is shown in the Journal of Nutrients, found that consuming berries may help reduce the risk of gout. Water. So we're talking about lowering your intake of DNA products and creating less uric acid. Water actually helps uric acid get to the kidneys and helps your kidneys excrete it. So we wanna do two things. We wanna lower all the bad foods and we wanna raise the function of the kidneys. And that's what water does. Whenever I host a barbecue, when we go on vacations, especially if people have a beer or a glass of wine, you have to balance the one and one rule. If you're having frequent attacks, maybe do a one and two rule. If you have one glass of beer or one glass of wine, you have to drink at least one or two glasses of big water that are even bigger than the alcohol you consume. Simply following that rule can make all the difference. This flushes that uric acid out your kidneys. The Journal of Arthritis and Rheumatology found that increasing water intake may help reduce the risk of gout attacks. Plant-based proteins and a higher protein diet. Plant-based proteins like lentils, beans, Tofu are rich in fiber and have been shown to lower uric acid levels in the blood, reducing the risk of gout attacks. Now, a lot of people will push vegetarianism on you, but this is one option. This is food that gives you your protein levels, is high in fiber, limits your uric acid, and this is proven in the Journal of Arthritis Research and Therapy, found that consuming plant-based proteins may help reduce the risk of gout attacks. This is where it gets controversial because I'm gonna go over the foods to avoid, but while I'm on the plant protein subject, I have a lot of comments and they're true comments about the carnivore diet because some meat gets bashed here, but I'm gonna preface this by saying is, the carnivore diet can be great because it cuts out garbage foods. It cuts out simple sugars. It cuts out what causes 42% 
to 50% of the calories in America. The number one cause of being fat and out of shape and unhealthy in America is simple sugars. That's not a secret anymore. Switching to the carnivore diet, even though carnivore diet does lead to DNA intake, it leads to smaller levels. You get full faster. Even though that food is higher percentage foods that can become uric acid, it's not a vast amount of it like people would otherwise be getting that then creates uric acid. It doesn't bog down your circulatory system and it lets you excrete it. And that's my thoughts on the carnivore diet. Does the carnivore diet offer solutions? Maybe. Am I personally doing it? I'm not personally doing it. You know, I think a nice balanced diet of the stuff I talked about can be a great option, but there's no doubt. I'm not against the carnivore diet. And keep that in mind before I go over some of these foods. Worst foods are organ meats. So organ meats like liver, kidneys, sweetbreads are high in purines. And purine is a DNA product. So the more cells you have, the more DNA you have in those cells. They are broken down to uric acid. Journal of Arthritis and Rheumatology found that high organ meat intake leads to high purine, leading to high gout attacks. Red meats. So red meats also get a bad rap. I have a video about my six lies on meat. Check that out below. They're not all bad, especially in proper quantities. Red meats have higher amounts of purines, which is a DNA product, which can lead to more uric acid, more gout attacks. That's proven by the Journal of Arthritis and Rheumatology shows that specifically red meats can do it. Another one is seafood. So seafood like shrimp, lobster, and crab are high in purines and can increase the risk of gout attacks. This is shown in the annals of rheumatic diseases. That's specifically this seafood. The omega-3 rich foods like salmon, like cold water fish, these do the opposite because they have great omega-3 acids, which decrease your inflammations. And omega-3 actually makes one of our home remedy options. So check out our home remedies for gout below. Great segue. So seafood is not all seafood. Cold water fish are their own special healthy class. So don't cut out cold water fish. Sugary drinks. This is probably my number one worst one. So sodas, fruit juices, low fiber fruit juices. So if you're actually putting a fruit in a blender, that's a different story. That's shown to be healthy, but I'm talking about processed foods specifically. If it's made in a factory, it's probably not great for you. If it's coming from your garden, it's probably good for you. And what happens is the Journal of Arthritis and Rheumatology found that sugary drinks are probably the number one worst food, but that includes simple sugars. Anything processed, sweets, treats with not drinking enough water. When you eat sugary foods, it almost dries out your mouth. That overloads your system, overloads your kidneys, and you're not getting rid of that uric acid. That's a good way I like to think about it, even though it's not the true scientific explanation. And the biggest one, alcohol. What it does do is it's high in purines, it increases uric acid production, it dehydrates you, it overwhelms your kidneys, so that's the worst of both worlds. Most people with true gout attacks are due to a night of drinking and having some fun. You wanna do that water drinking rule. If you have one beer or one glass of wine, drink one or two glasses of water. And high fat foods. Specifically, I'm gonna change it from high fat because fat is now unfairly blamed. It's really processed fried garbage foods like with fried skin, everything on there, that's bad fat. And what happens is that increases the risk of gout attacks. So I go over that in a ton of my videos, but the Journal of Arthritis and Rheumatology found that this unhealthy oily food and processed food raises your risk of attacks because it's full of salt, it's full of low calorie food. Refined carbohydrates, simple sugars, specifically bread, pasta, rice, Cut those out. Studies show that increases your insulin levels. Insulin levels lead to high uric acid levels. That's proven by the Journal of Arthritis and Rheumatology. Anything that raises your insulin, which is those sugary drinks, those pastas, big meals, leads to a high risk of gout attacks. The number one biggest secret is make sure it's diagnosed properly. Diagnosis is the most common thing. I see most people come in with gradually ramping up pain levels. That's usually not gout. Gout is when you go from like close to zero pain to going to severe 10 out of 10 pain, like, oh my, this is the worst day of my life type pain. And then secret number two is you've got to get to the root cause of this. Being overweight, drinking alcohol, 
your body can't handle the volume of fluid. Uric acid is essentially DNA breakdown. If you're taking in vast quantities of DNA, so that's meat and sugary, garbagey foods that tie up your kidneys, your body can't process and excrete that. You can do two things, lower your intake of DNA, lower your body volume, or number two, increase the efficiency of your kidneys, which is not overloading them with alcohol, keeping well hydrated, moving, exercising, improving your blood flow to help your blood flow get that uric acid to the kidneys and excrete it. But this is the really big secret. This is not one you wanna goof around at home. What you want to do is go see a doctor. If you're in Michigan, come see us. But colchicine tablets, indomethacin, steroid packs, these are the things you wanna have available if you're prone to gout attacks. This is gonna be severe 10 out of 10 pain that you want to treat properly. So don't just keep waiting. And for long-term use, if your kidneys aren't functioning properly, allopurinol might be necessary. But that being said, you have to lose weight, you have to get healthy, you have to eat all the right foods because your feet could end up like this. Take a look at these x-rays. That is a disaster. It actually eats your bones. It grinds up your cartilage, leading to permanent arthritis. So you need to get blood tests. You have to get this stuff taken care of because it can lead to heart disease, joint disease, permanent osteoarthritis. This is not one to save a few dollars on. Those are the foods to eat and the foods to avoid. It's really about lowering your intake of purines, raising the function of your kidneys. I go over the absolute best home remedies, how to diagnose it, and all the secrets below. Check it out.